Hey there, it's Linda from Fumagerie Zengary. We're here in the kitchen with Melanie Bowdens from Grow Your Root Cafe. Thanks so much for having us here. Yeah, I'm stoked to do some Valentine's Day recipes. Yes, we're getting ready to make us some Valentine's Day waffles. So it's got a nice vibrant red color for Valentine's Day theme. And it's got some healthy ingredients in it too. So you can kind of squeeze those in there to add in. And what are you going to do with our double cream brie style cheese? So that will be the start of the show at the end. We're going to make a really nice creamy dreamy uh, brie drizzle to go on top of our waffle. Amazing. All right, so you have all of the ingredients here, and have you roasted these beets? Or so these are already cooked beets. Okay. Um, you can roast them or boil them, uh, whichever your preference is, or you can buy the um, pre-cooked ones at the grocery stores too. Um, oh, smart. Yeah, save some time and a little bit less prep work. Um, so I've got everything measured out. I think that's the best way to do all your cooking so that everything goes really smoothly when you're, um, when you're ready to go and actually prepare it. Um, so okay. we've got our, all of our dry mix. It's this very simple, uh, basic waffle recipe, and you should have most of these ingredients at home as well. Um, so we've got all of our dry mix in here, and like I said, you can do a gluten-free version with gluten-free all-purpose flour, or you can just do um, a regular with the, just regular all-purpose uh, bleach flour. So we've got all of our dry mix here, and the first thing you want to do is start with your uh, plant milk. So I've got soy in here, but almond works as well, um, if you have allergies or anything. And then we've just got uh, apple cider vinegar here. So that's we're just going to pour that in there and let it sit. So it's just a curdled, curdled soy milk. So that is kind of like a vegan version of buttermilk, right? Exactly, yes. It's a vegan buttermilk, and that will also help activate the sodas uh, that we've got going on in our dry mix. Okay. Um, and then while that's kind of sitting and we've got our waffle iron heating up on the go, we're going to actually blend all of our wet ingredients into the blender here. Our handy Vitamix? Yes. The same one I have at home. Vitamix or just a regular blender, whatever you have will work. It doesn't have to be a hard one high powered blender for this So recipe. that was some oil that So yeah, we've got canola oil, or if you've got liquid coconut oil, um, if you prefer that, will also work in the recipe. Right. And so I just got two cooked medium beets here, in here, and you don't want to put too many beets in, otherwise you're going to have a very earthy, beet-tasting waffle. Earthy, that's a good word. <laughs> and then we've got just some pure vanilla extract. It's about two teaspoons that you want for your recipe. There. So we're going to have the recipe link down below, so make sure you check that out so you can make these waffles for your sweetie at home. And I just want to add in there, don't cheap out and get the artificial vanilla extract. That's Pure vanilla thing. makes a big difference. Oh yeah, because you get that like chemically kind of taste. Yeah. The artificial, yeah. Right? Exactly. So then we've got our plant milk in here that's been curdled, and we're just going to add that in and give it a whiz until it's nice, smooth, and creamy and all the uh, bits of the beets have been blended up. Do you want to soak high? Start it low and turn around. That's good. Look at that color. And so right. the beets do give the batter a nice pink color. However, when it's cooked, it will kind of go more of a traditional color of like a brown waffle. Yeah, color. yeah. Okay. So uh, you can optionally add in a little bit of red uh, vegan food coloring to it if you want that mm -hmm. pink color. But we do have a variation uh, to add in some natural pink color later on if you don't want to add the food. So what did you have with your flour in your dry ingredients? So I've just got some baking powder, baking soda, sea salt, uh, and a little bit of cinnamon, but it's, I've also tried it with some nutmeg and cloves and it's really nice too. So yeah. you can switch that up if you don't want to just do cinnamon or you can just leave all the spice soap all together. Alright, so I'm just going to pour this in. 
And if you haven't noticed, there's actually no egg substitutes in this recipe. Oh. And it still makes a really nice fluffy yet crispy waffle, and that's because of the buttermilk that we've used. Okay, it's doing so all the activating. And the vegan buttermilk is the key. Yes. So beautiful color. So yeah, I've got a nice pink color going on here, but like I said, when it cooks, it will uh, it will go back to a standard brown kind of waffle mixture on us. So, because we want a nice pink waffle, we're just going to add in a little bit of red food coloring. So how long has the Roll Your Roots been open now, Mel? So we started in uh, 2013, and we actually just started as a uh, farmer's market stand at the Carter Farmer's Market. And then from there, we moved on to a uh, catering and wholesale company. Right. And then kind of just from there, we escalated, and that's when I found uh, this location. So it'll be three years in August, the restaurant itself has been opened. So five years in total. Yeah. Awesome. So now that we've added the food coloring, you can see it's an even brighter color. So that's what you want if you want your final product to be a nice red. So like a red velvet waffle. Exactly. That's good to go. And I like to let my uh, waffle batter rest before I put it into the waffle maker. I think it makes a really big difference. Same with if you're making pancakes at home. I think it's really good to let your batter rest. What happens if you don't let it rest? I just don't think that you'll get a quite as puffed up, thick, crispy okay, waffle as you will. Okay, so like a yeasty, like letting Same it... Same idea, exactly, yeah. Like if you're rolling out dough and you always want to let it rest, I think it's best to do the same for waffle. Too long, you have to let it rest. Just about five minutes. Five minutes. The fridge is even better if you can do uh, the fridge too. So. so this waffle maker looks well loved, Mel. It is, yes. This gets used every Sunday. We've got two of these. Um, very well loved. <laughs> yeah, lots of banana and free waffles. We made chicken and waffles in this. So oh, yeah, amazing. Lots of fun stuff gets used on these. So I'm just gonna give this a scoop. This is a a half cup, so it's about a half cup on there. And just cook this according to your own uh, waffle maker, but I like to start, because it is, um, especially if you're doing the gluten-free version, the, the batter is quite thick, so you really want to make sure that you give it a good spread um, before you put the top down on your waffle maker. So for your gluten-free version, you would just substitute in gluten-free flour mix? Yep. Um, and, and just make sure to uh, whatever brand that you're buying already has xanthan gum in it. Okay. Otherwise, you'll want to uh, add some gum into it. So moving on to our creamy dreamy brie sauce, we've got uh, Zengari double cream here, and you want just about a quarter cup. I suppose close to half of a brick. Waffles are smelling good. Get that in there. And then we've just got a little bit more plant milk, uh, whichever is your favorite to add in there. I've got soy. And then just get it on a low medium heat and you just want to bring it to um, a low simmer just so that everything combines together. So we're basically just thinning out our double cream so that we can make it into a sauce. So we have our double cream brie and our soy milk in here. And I just like to break up the, the brie a little bit too so it melts a little bit faster and more evenly. Cutest little whisk. <laughs> so what do you have going on here at the restaurant for Valentine's Day? So we will, it's a Thursday evening, so on Thursdays we're open till 8 p.m. So you can come and grab dinner. Um, and on Thursday for Valentine's Day, we'll have our regular menu available, and then we also have a special Valentine's Day menu available as well. Okay. It's a really nice arancini on the menu, a creamy uh, garlic pasta sauce. Um, so we've got some gluten-free options in there as well. So amazing. So I right, so went to a low, low yeah. And I got a low simmer here. Basically, you just want to get it until it's nice and melted. Yeah. Um, if you find it's a little too thick, you can add a little bit more soy milk to it, um, whichever you prefer in terms of thickness for a nice drizzle. And then I've got some icing sugar here, but we were just saying you can sweeten it with whatever you prefer, maybe syrup or agave, um, whichever is your preference. Mm -hmm. And you don't need much either. Especially the best sweetness. We're gonna add some. Yeah, two, two tablespoons. Yeah. yeah. 
But again, make it to your preference if you want it less sweet or... Mm, that looks amazing. And you said you could uh, add a few drops of food coloring and make it pink if you Yeah, want so a little bit of uh, extra of your beet juice that you have left over, you can make a nice pink, vibrant pink sauce, or you can leave it white too, whichever your preference is. So that's good to go. Great. So we'll set that aside and we'll start putting together our waffle. Yeah. All right, so we've got our creamy drizzle going on here, and this is just a cut-off Ziploc bag. Um, you don't keep piping bags or anything at home for yourself, and this will be able. Well, they're so hard to wash. Yeah, I put that for. And everybody keeps these at home too. Them. So this will just let you do a really nice pretty drizzle. So I'm just gonna start from one oh, side. Nice. And then I just got some fresh blueberries here. Add those on top. Our nice mm. little different color on there. And then let's also serve it with a little bit of maple syrup and some coconut whip too. Delicious. Yeah. Awesome. Way to go, Mel. Thank you so right. much. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell so you get notifications every week when we release new videos on Thursdays. Thanks so much for having us, Mel. Yay. We'll be back for Valentine's dinner on Thursday, the 14th yes. of yeah. February. Anytime between 5 and 8 p.m. Perfect. Bye now.